of the uterus, which you see as blood. The second one egg that a woman produces every month. And that, if it does not result, that, if it does not result in a pregnancy, you result with menstruation. So menstruation is only shedding of the lining of the uterus when a pregnancy doesn't take place. In increase in the thickness of the lining of the uterus is because of first ovulation. There's progesterone hormone which is increasing and this progesterone hormone thickens the lining of the uterus. It basically in layman's terminology means making the bed ready for the baby to come and lie down. So implantation to take place, that's all that there is. And what gets shed out is that lining which is getting shed from no ovulation, from no pregnancy. And that's about it. So it's not dirty, it's not bad, it's not healthy. It's not unhealthy, it's very healthy. In fact, I keep telling girls that if you are menstruating normally, every 28, 30 days means you are absolutely normal. It's when you are not menstruating, that's when the trouble, that's <laughs> when the trouble starts. Yeah. So do your patients, because you have urban patients, you have patients from Bombay, and do they already know all this? Are they well aware? Are they, in fact, open to talk about it? Or I will divide them into two groups. There'd be that younger uh, class of patients or that younger lot of girls who have very easy access to the net. They are all very well informed. It is that Jenner which is not really very happy with going on the net and checking stuff and who believe mere dadi ne kiya, mere mummy ne bola, iske liye hum chalte bane. That class is very prevalent today and they have got preconceived ideas or notions which is carrying forward, which is causing us a problem not only with menstruation, with all of anything to do with a woman. Because they feel it is their prerogative and pregnancy is the biggest problem for us because ghee khao ge to bacha slide out hota hai. Now you give me scientific evidence or some reasoning how can ghee be excreted in the vagina? I don't no way. Here, no. We, we just, um, uh, you shed light on the conversation we were having earlier over coffee before we met, um, before we all reached here. We were sitting in a cup of coffee waiting for everybody to arrive. Um, I was actually appalled from my understanding and I'm an educated, uh, aware woman my understanding of menstrual health and hygiene was this, that people in rural areas uh, don't know anything about, of course, also has a opinion on this, um, that, that women in rural India don't have access to uh, menstrual aids like sanitary napkins, whereas everybody in urban setting, and this is the key question here, that everybody in urban areas has access and uses sanitary pads for their period. Now, this is what doctor told me and I had to have a really strong black coffee to recover from. Please, doctor. I can guarantee you we have a very big class or a large number of people who will use non-hygienic methods or unhygienic methods like using a cloth but repeatedly using the same thing without being able to clean it properly. See, using a cloth is not wrong. Please don't get me wrong that I'm promoting use of a sanitary pad. That lower class of society, if, ha if it has to use a cloth, she's more than welcome to do it. But she has to wash it regularly, change it every four to six hours, dry it in the sun, which is extremely important. But menstruation is taboo. It is not something that she can do. So that is a dirty piece of cloth. She's not allowed to dry it or expose it to sun. She can't iron it with a hot iron. So how does she get rid of bacteria and fungi from it? So that is what is causing us a problem. 